So basic research, which is research, we use that term to explain research that's done kind of far away from humans, it seems like. So it might be uh, with worms or it might be with flies, but it's studying a, a, a specific process in that organism. And that is important because if you think about building a house, you have to have a really good foundation before you can start putting the walls and the yeah. roof on. And that foundation in science comes from basic research because we can't figure out how to fix somebody's autoimmune disease or better treat somebody's autoimmune disease if we don't first understand how the immune system works in the first place. Or if we're studying something in the nervous system and we're studying neurons, if we don't understand how neurons talk to each other, we're not going to be able to try to figure out ways of helping a human who has a potential disease where the neurons don't communicate well. So we really get that fundamental understanding from all of that basic research to build that foundation. Because even though a worm and a fly look really different than us, there's actually a lot of similarities between all of these living organisms. And we can use those similarities to learn about how neurons talk. And we can learn, study neurons in a fly, and it's very similar to the way a neuron would communicate in a human. So it's harder to study in a human for lots of reasons, ethical reasons, technical reasons. But by studying and getting that foundation in other organisms, we eventually can take it to building walls and eventually maybe developing treatments and cures for things because we've learned how to get to that point.